There are some rules for fully understanding the sig figs in any measurement that you receive. These rules can be tough to remember unless you understand the rationale behind each of them. In this tutorial, we'll explain the rationale behind the sig fig rules to make it easier for you. The first rule if someone writes down a number other than zero, then we assume that this number must have meaning. That is, we can assume that scientists don't just randomly write down a two or a five for no good reason. A non zero digit is always considered to be significant. So that just leaves the zeros. And the remaining rules are just about what was meant by any zeros that show up in your measurement. A zero will have one of two purposes it's either a sig fig or it's a placeholder. For example, if you get a measurement of 0 0.052 milliliters, well, we know that the 5 and the 2, the non zero digits, are significant. So let's think about the zeros. This zero was needed to show that this was a small number, a small amount of milliliters. You see, having the decimal and this zero here is just a practical way of showing a very small number. This zero doesn't make the number any more precise. It's just a placeholder. Next, let's consider the zero out front here. And you've probably noticed that you don't often see numbers that simply start with a decimal. For instance, like this. In your math and science courses, as well as in modern society in general, we typically write a zero out front of a decimal, like this. And the reason for this is about making the decimal more noticeable. Whether in a sentence or in a list, we want to point out that that decimal is part of that number. In fact, if you dig into legal guidelines for engineers, pharmacists, scientists, and so on, you'll often run into the rule, or at least recommendation, to never leave a decimal point naked, as you don't want to miss the decimal point and accidentally prescribe 5 milliliters when someone wrote down 0.5 milliliters and the decimal got smudged. That's a tenfold overdose, and suddenly a missing decimal becomes really serious. Therefore, it's always good practice to put a zero in preceding a decimal like this. And given all that, the zero in front of the decimal by itself is never significant. It's something like an extra placeholder. It helps us notice the decimal. So this measurement has two sig figs. Let's consider another example. 0 0.0520 milliliters. Again, we know that the 5 and the 2, the non-zero digits, are significant. And this 0 here, again, is a placeholder showing how small the measurement is. And this zero out front helps us not miss the decimal, like we talked about. So we only have one other zero to consider at the end here. Now, it's clearly not a placeholder, as it doesn't help us show the number as being any bigger or smaller. Therefore, there was no reason to put this zero here other than to indicate precision. And therefore, it must be significant. So this measurement would have three sig figs. So what if our measurement had a zero in the middle like this? 0 0.0502. The zero in the middle isn't there to show magnitude, bigger or smaller. Also, any other digit could have been there, but they wrote a zero. Therefore, it must be significant. It's not a placeholder. It has meaning to the measurement's precision. So this one also has three sig figs. So we've looked at some small number measurements. Let's switch over to some bigger numbers. Let's say we have a measurement of 52,000 kilograms. In this case, the zeros here are placeholders. That is, they demonstrate that we're talking about a big number. Without them, we'd just be talking about 52. With them, we're talking about 52,000. Big difference. They indicate that this is a large number. The only problem with this is what if the person making the measurement truly wanted these zeros to be significant? Maybe they measured the 52,000 kilograms to within a kilogram. 
So how do we indicate that zeros are placeholders showing size and they're also significant, indicating precision of the measurement? The trick to this one is to not have a decimal if these zeros are placeholders. But if all these zeros are significant, then we would just put a decimal at the end. So in this case, this number has two sig figs. But with a decimal at the end, that indicates that these are all significant figures. And therefore, it would have five sig figs. In this tutorial, we considered the reasoning behind the sig fig rules. So review the rules as well as the rationale behind them and you'll find them much easier to remember.